in today's session we will be evaluating integrals of rational functions of cosine and sine residue integration can also be used to evaluate certain classes of complicated real integrals and that one type of integral is rational functions of cosine and sine suppose you have an integral let's say 0 to 2 pi functions of cos theta sin theta where f of cos theta sin theta is a real rational function of cos theta and sin theta now let's say we are setting e raised to i theta is equal to z and we will get cos theta equal to 1 by 2 times e raised to i theta plus e raised to minus i theta and sine theta is equal to 1 by 2 i e raised to i theta minus e raised to minus i theta so we substituted e raised to i theta equal to z so i can rewrite cos theta as 1 by 2 z plus 1 by z and sine theta as 1 by 2 i z minus 1 by z since f is rational in cos theta and sine theta we will obtain f as a rational function of z now and d theta we know that dz by d theta will be i e raised to i theta and that is equal to i z hence i can substitute d theta as dz by i z so we are changing the integral 0 to 2 pi f of cos theta sin theta d theta equal to function in terms of z and d theta will change to dz by i z now since theta is varying from 0 to 2 pi and e raised to i theta will travel a complete unit circle hence the curve of integration will be unit circle taken in the counterclockwise direction so let's take an example evaluate the integral 0 to 2 pi d theta by root 2 minus cos theta so you cannot evaluate this integral in the real form we are converting it into the complex form and using residue theorem we will evaluate this integral so let's see this integral i'm substituting d theta as dz by i z root 2 minus cos theta is z plus 1 by z divided by and the curve of integration will be the unit circle so this will be equal to integral dz by i z 2 root 2 minus 
z square plus 1 by z the whole divided by 2 over the unit circuit and again this will be when you simplify you will get dz by minus i by 2 z square minus 2 root 2 z plus 1 2 root 2 z plus 1 So this is equal to minus 2 by i integral dz divided by z square minus 2 root 2 z plus 1. Now I can factorize the denominator. See the roots are z square minus 2 root 2 z plus 1 equal to 0 implies z is equal to plus minus b that is 2 root 2 z minus b plus or minus root of b square will be 8 minus 4 ac divided by 2 so that will be root 2 plus or minus root of 4 root of 4 is 2 and 2 and 2 will be cancelled from both numerator and denominator so root 2 plus or minus 1 so we can split the denominator as integral d is a divided by z minus root 2 plus 1 into z minus root 2 minus 1. So I'll write once again. Now we are evaluating the integral minus 2 by i d z divided by z minus root 2 plus 1 z minus root 2 minus 1. Now since we are evaluating it along the curve of integration mod of z equal to 1, we have to only worry about the point root 2 minus 1 because root 2 plus 1 is outside the circuit. So this will be equal to minus 2 by i, 2 pi i time the residue of the function. Let's say I'm calling it as f of z. At the point z is equal to root 2 minus 1 at the point root 2 minus 1. So let's calculate the residue. The residue of the function 1 by z minus root 2 plus 1 z minus root 2 minus 1 at the point z equal to root 2 minus 1. Since you can see that root 2 minus 1 is a simple pole, the residue will be equal to limit z tends to root 2 minus 1, z minus root 2 minus 1 times 1 by the function is z minus root 2 plus 1 into z minus root 2 minus 1. So z minus root 2 minus 1 will be cancelled and when you apply the limit you will get it as 1 by 
root 2 minus 1 minus root 2 minus 1. So that will be equal to minus 1 by 2. Hence the integral value will be equal to minus 2 by i into 2 pi i into minus 1 by 2. So that will be equal to 2 pi. Hence the integral hence the integral 0 to 2 pi d theta by root 2 minus cos theta will be equal to 2 pi. Thank you.